Our opening hymn is number 602, I Have Loved You. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord and long for Him. He will bring you His light and His peace. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord, and long for Him. He will bring you His joy and His hope. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather this morning to celebrate the Eucharist, we pause. We ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you rose gloriously from the dead, giving us hope of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you ascended in glory to your Father's right hand and now intercede in our behalf. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you fulfilled your promise and sent the Holy Spirit upon us to lead us and guide us on our way to the Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who desired the Virgin Blessed Kateri Katekawika to flower among the Native Americans in a life of innocence, grant through her intercession that when all are gathered into your church from every nation, tribe, and tongue, they may magnify you in a single canticle of praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the days of Ahaz, king of Judah, son of Jotham, son of Uzziah, Rezan, king of Aram, and Pekah, king of Israel, son of Ramalia, went up to attack Jerusalem, but they were not able to conquer it. When word came to the house of David that Aram was encamped in Ephraim, The heart of the king and the heart of the people trembled as the trees of the forest tremble in the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz, you and your son, Shurjazab, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool on the highway of the fuller's field and say to him, Take care you remain tranquil and do not fear. Let not your courage fail before these two stumps of smoldering brands, the blazing anger of reason and the Arameans and the son of Ramalia, because of the mischief that Aram, Ephraim, and the son of Ramalia plots against you, saying, let us go up and tear Judah asunder. 
make it our own by force, and appoint the son of Tabeel king there. Thus says the Lord, this shall not stand, it shall not be. Damascus is the capital of Aram, and Reason is the head of Damascus. Samaria is the capital of Ephraim, and Ramalia's son, the head of Samaria. But within 60 years and five, Ephraim shall be crushed, no longer a nation. Unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God upholds his city forever. God upholds the city city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. God God upholds upholds his city city forever. forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles. Renowned is he as a stronghold. God God upholds the city city. forever. For lo, the kings assemble. They come on together. They also see and at once are stunned, terrified, routed. God God upholds upholds his city city forever. forever. Quaking seizes them there, anguish like a woman's in labor, as though a wind from the east were shattering ships of Tarshish. God God upholds his city city forever. forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia. Father, may I have your blessing. Lord, be in your heart and on your lips, that you may worthily and fittingly proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirits. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done since they had not repented. Woe to you, Corazon. Woe to you, Bethesda. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre or Sidon, they would no long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. As for your you, Capernaum, you will be exalted to heaven. You will go down to the netherworld. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Kateric Tekawika. She was born to Algonquin and uh, Moab parents in 15 or 1656 uh, in what is uh, today modern New York State. Um, Her parents and she and many of her tribes uh, suffered from a smallpox uh, plague uh, about four years later. Her parents died. Um, She, her face is very badly scarred. Her vision was impaired and her relatives uh, took care of her. It was a time when a lot of different Indian tribes were warring against each other and every few years uh, there'd be a war. Um, 
and those who were captured as prisoners were tortured for several days and then they'd be uh, killed. And Kateri and several others uh, in their tribe uh, tried during those times to plead with their tribe to have mercy on the prisoners and not torture them and so on, but they weren't heard, they were ostracized for that. And then uh, she began to uh, meet one of the Jesuit priests who was trying to instruct the, uh, the Indians and convert them to Christianity. And um, her family wanted her to marry. Uh, usually in those days, girls were married at about the age of 13 in arranged marriages, but she refused. And as a result, she was shunned by the rest of her relatives and friends. And um, especially when she uh, was baptized when she was 19, uh, she was completely ostracized from her own uh, family uh, support group. Um, she spent the remaining, remaining five years of her life uh, ministering to the elder um, and the sick, and then she herself died at the age of 24. She was the first Native American to be canonized, um, I think maybe the only one as of this date. Three others have been beatified, but she was canonized by Pope John Paul II. Uh, she is upheld for all of us as a virtue of, uh, of, of purity and chastity that she held so dearly, and then her compassion for the poor and uh, looking after them and taking care of them. And so today we honor her. Uh, eyewitnesses tell us that shortly after she died, uh, all of the scar scars on her face were, uh, were removed, and uh, she had a very beautiful and uh, radiant face one way of God perhaps showing his great love for her and granting her that privilege for a life well lived. Today we pray for all, um, for all of us that will gradually learn to li live together in peace and harmony. Um, I remember when I was a child, um, we made a big deal of our nationality, the Germans, the Polish, uh, et cetera, et cetera, but eventually we've gotten over that um, now we're dealing with the Hispanics and many other foreigners in our land, and hopefully we'll learn to adjust to and realize that we are all brothers and sisters in the human family. We are all God's children, and we have to learn to work together in peace and harmony. And that message is especially important today as we hear so much turmoil in our cities and so much talk about racial injustice and so on. Um, it's God's plan that we all work together and learn to uh, get along with one another uh, and um, hopefully one day share eternal life in his presence together. So let's always keep that in mind in our prayers and do everything we can to reach out to others and strangers and foreigners and make them feel welcome in our presence and especially in our church. So with that in mind, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, help us to imitate the examples uh, of charity and chastity and love set forth for us by Kateria Tekawika. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we now ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Lucas, Bishop Hannafeld, and Bishop Conley, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who serve us in public office, that especially in the time of crisis, they will strive to work together for what is best for our country. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, the building blocks of society, that each member will show love and respect, patience and willingness to work together. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience God's healing power, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our departed loved ones, that they may be present with Jesus in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all policemen, highway patrolmen, law enforcement officers, and firemen, that they may be kept safe from harm, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor and homeless of all races living in slums of many of our cities who have ever reason to be angry with politicians who remember them only before elections, 
but do little to help them better their conditions once elected, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our unspoken needs attention, let us pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass today for Jeff Milan. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the divine work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash me, Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of your church, O Lord, as she makes her prayers to you, and grant that, when consumed by those who believe, they may bring even greater holiness to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of, of rising again and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. Welcome them to the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant and gracious and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Jack. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is Taste and See, number 333. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord, of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall always be on my lips. My soul shall glory in the Lord. For he has been so good to me. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see. Please join me in making this spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow 
through Christ our Lord. I'm going to take this opportunity this morning to wish a very happy birthday to Lutheran pastor uh, Roland Schenck. He was at uh, Emmanuel Lutheran, I think, here from 1978 to uh, 2000. Today, he's celebrating his 100th birthday. So we wish him a happy wow. birthday and keep him in your prayers. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to serve the Lord by your works. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our final hymn is number 601, Isaiah 49. I will never forget you, my people. I have brought you on the palm of my hand. I will never forget you. I will not leave you orphan. I will never forget my own. Does a mother forget her baby? Or a woman the child with her womb? Yet even if these forget, yes, even if these forget, I will never forget my own. Never forget you, my people. I have called you on the palm of my hand. I will never forget you. I will not leave you orphaned. I will never forget my own.